I think maybe I should go lie down now. You go for it. Sort of Vadim. Hey, Vadim, did you see that? <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for next part of foolproof plan? There's more? Uh, it's. I hope it's not more fighting, is it? Because I almost killed a guy just now. No, no. This part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, yeah. I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. The well, whiskey has worn off finally. I think that's probably what gave us the liquid courage to fight these guys and really swing hard. We didn't. We did not pull out punches. And we almost broke a guy's jaw. Um, I could talk to her about it, possibly, if she's around. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Sounds good, Vadim. Sounds good. <laughs> the Russians, they always got you. They always got you back no matter what. Let me see if I can find Scarlet around here. Where is she? I don't want to mess with her. She looks pretty tough, actually. Where would I find Scarlet at? Is she back there? Scarlet? Um, there's a washing machine right here. Probably should not be doing anything here at the moment. Oh, okay, probably the washer still sort of work, maybe. What's back here? Door. Okay, that's the door I can access. What would Scarlet be at? Lost. I ain't a tour guide. I think I'll be able to find her here somewhere at least. I would think, unless she just ran off or something. She probably ran off. That's a, a, probably what happened. Unless she isn't here. Nope. Door one. Tell me if you need a room. Otherwise, the bar is over there. Scarlet, are you paying chance here anywhere? Scarlet, do you look? Nope. She's not here. I would think she'll be here. She probably is out. You know, around town, maybe. I would guess. Anything back here? No, this. Oh, there's a hidden door here. Oh, no, never mind. It's just the door that leads into here. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't even see it before there. Alright, I guess we'll go try to find Scarlet. I think she's just out and about for now. Probably go do that real quick. See if you can find her. Wow, well, actually, this is kind of neat. I didn't actually take time to do any of this quest before, and I actually get to go around and do some of these quests and just kind of explore. Hello, Polly. Hi there. <clears throat> Leave me alone. You have marvelous bone structure. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. Oh yeah, we probably could do that. Uh, let's talk to him real quick, actually. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Even though uh, I'm a doctor, no. I admit I have a small vice. A quick drink after work. I guess so. We we'll probably should talk to the guy to try to... I think he might be the guy that can change our facial structure. And granted, we are still, you know, kind of looking Never out for... Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. I guess they can. Oh, if they can, maybe... I wonder if I could maybe steal some of the clothes. Because, you see, we need some way to kind of change our identity. And face reconstruction, maybe get a haircut. And then another... Maybe, like, I don't know, something Everyone with clothes. Everyone in this city is always jumping at shadows. Chill out, is what I say. Solomon, hello Solomon. Uh, maybe something that could help us out with changing our appearance might be worth it. Uh, where's the surgeon one? That's buff out, that's chemicare. What is this Not here? This is the... People, I don't know. Well, well this might is. be the surgery one. Something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. Well, now I have the map updated if I really want to check it out. Oh, Mega Surgery Center, that's what it is. Alright, well, I think we can't do anything at the moment. I think we should probably go inside and take a little rest and then wait until the morning to do anything else. Like, talk to uh, the girl to try to get Travis a girlfriend. Uh, hopefully, see if you can get a face reconstruction for a cheaper price than usually. Being Let's see, it's Just gonna be... Him like I is this still our room or is it technically not ours yet? Okay, none of mine. This is not owned yet. We have to rent you by the tired. night here. Need a room? E, uh, yeah, I'll, here's the money. Room two is yours. Enjoy. Thank you, Efim. Efim and Vadim. Cool, actually. <laughs> it's kind of neat. 
Let's go into here. And uh, what's well, 847? So I guess everybody's kind of shutting down those stores. Just, you know, getting a little bit of rest. Just relaxing for a bit. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to join the, the rest of the population of Diamond City. Now, I know I said I wanted to not stay here for long. But it looks like plans have changed for us. So maybe we can stay for maybe like another hour. Let's get this news out. Let's see if maybe I think the shop should be opening up now. We can go ahead and close this here. See, the girl is not to be found at the moment, I don't think. Yeah, she is not here right now, I guess. Well, the brothers aren't here. Well, only one is here right now. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Let's go outside for a little bit. You know, walk around, check some places out. See how much the surgery costs us, because we have still some caps we could still spend. We're earning no caps from doing job from Vadim and Yfim, but it'd be nice if we did. Oh, now it's like nice and foggy. Now it's gonna be look like a real snowy area now with Whatever like nice is, foggy out of it. everything. It's gonna look oh, so cool. No. Whatever it is, keep it to yourself. Better that way. Alright, looks like people really don't wanna deal with us. We're gonna go ahead and avoid people as much as possible. Let's go into Mega Surgery Center. See how much facial reconstruction uh will cost us. Totally doesn't look shady at all. A new face. Strong, but not perfect. For a nominal fee, Doc Crocker can give you the looks you've only dreamed about before. How many caps? A hundred caps? How many caps do we have right now? Let's see if you can let's see if you yeah, let's see if you can change appearance. That'd be great, but I'm low on caps right now. I guess we're low on caps. Well, I'm glad you stopped by anyway. Come back whenever you're ready. Damn it. Now we're gonna um, <laughs> God damn it. If I only knew how to make some money right now, that'd be great. It's probably because we spent the 10 caps on the room. Now we're probably low-ish on caps. Here. That bridge across the river? Super mutants. Use it as an ambush point. I have to remember that. Some kind of bridge. Hello. Hey. You there. I, um... I have a question for you. Mm, uh, yeah. What do you want? You were in the tap house before, when... You try to punch the bartender? What was- yeah, what was that all about? Just waiting. I thought it was dead obvious. Cook is sleeping with my wife. And I'm supposed to just pretend I don't know. Until Cook decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. So... What do I mean? What are you asking me I'm going me about to go this? back so and talk me. to him and I want you to come with me. You saw? You won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him. I just want him to leave Darcy alone. If you're going to talk to him yourself, why do you need me along out of all people? You can get a guard. I don't want to hurt Cook, but if he doesn't listen to me, I don't know what I might do. You won't dare act so smug when he sees you at my back, and then nobody has to get hurt. You're gonna have to make me, uh, you're gonna have to make it worth my while for sure with this. Uh, well, okay. I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. Uh, I think this might work better if I talk to Cook by myself. You kind of seem to be over emotional there. You're probably right. I am so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. Alright, I guess I'll get it done. I guess I'll try to get it done. No matter what it takes me. Good. So Don't kill him promise. if you don't have to, but otherwise, I don't care what you do to him. He deserves to suffer for what he's done. I'm pretty sure he is innocent, in my opinion. I think he might be very innocent in this case. We do have enough money to go get a face reconstruction, probably, so let's swing by there first. <laughs> we made some money, I'll take it, gladly. I'll gladly take the money, I'll do the little media jobs that people need me to do, no a problem, bit of a hello. A bit of a tuck, and a small payment is all you need for a new face. A new you. Well, I uh, hope they have enough here. Uh, Alright, here's a hundred caps. You won't regret it. Just sit down in the chair. Okay, cool, let's go ahead and sit down here. And let's see what's gonna take for me to adjust the face. Okay, so that's the face we're starting off with. I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here with you guys uh, present. Uh, first thing we should probably do is do something about our eyes, change our eye color. I think it's something we can easily do. Make it a little bit more presentable. 
something that stands out. Well, maybe a light... No, a light gray will stand out a little bit too much. And maybe put the ears up a little bit, make them a little bit bigger. You know, just as... Not that big, but decently big. There you go. Now we look slightly different. We still have the same kind of fe facial features that we used to have. It's just slightly more different. A little bit more, you know, a little more concise. I like that. Probably go with this. Actually, it should work pretty well. Anything we could do with our body. And make ourselves a slightly scrawnier, if anything, just to kind of go with that. There you go. And now we're good. We're pretty solid. I could re now we look like a... Face of yours into perfection. I guess it does look a lot better, a lot more approachable compared to the original bulky, uh, thug-like face that we had. <laughs> yeah, that should work out pretty well. Thank you, Doc. I really appreciate it. Ah, we got a nice new face. Look at that. We got a more nice, lighter-looking, more approachable face. Should work out pretty well. You know, now we can really fit in with the society rather than look like a, a bulky... I have no idea what we really were. Like, I guess a bulky blockhead. Now we look a little bit more approachable and should be... A lot easier for us to get around town now. And now that we have a facial uh, hair on us, which should be a lot easier for us to just kind of conceal ourselves. Facial hair can do a lot for the appearance. I would know person myself, personally. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the bar and see if we can find the bartender girl. And convince her to go on a date with Travis. Let's go in here and dig out in. A lot of running around for now. <laughs> we not really get into combat, but definitely doing the whole social aspect of... Fallout 4. Let's see, what what would they go, go to in the first place? She's not anywhere Whatever here, at least I don't ask, think. Unless she's in here somewhere. Hello? Nope, she's not here. Well then, let's pretend we're not seeing a pit boy right now to look up data for the quest. There we go. Good. Okay, let's see if we can find Scarlet now. And we also gotta convince Travis, uh, no, we gotta convince Cook to not go for Travis's wife. That's also what we gotta do. We could probably do, uh, two of those things at the same time, actually. Hopefully we can just convince, uh, Travis, you know, maybe we can make Cook not get violent with it. I don't know, we can probably try to see if we can work out a deal with both of them. Maybe play two fields or something, you know, kind of just work out a deal with both of them, make a lot of money that way as well. What is this here? Not the amount of third something they could loot. Apparently... The girl is somewhere around here. Let's see if you can find her real quick. Where did you go here? Oh, there she is. Hey, um, I'm on a break can we right talk, now. miss. Uh, can can I ask you something personal? It's actually about Travis. Travis? No. Really? Did he? Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was, well, he was brave. Hmm. Uh, w would you like it if he had mentioned you? Because I think he might have, maybe. Well, yeah, I guess I would. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No, no, I couldn't just go over there. Uh, let's see... Ooh, God, we got some very violent choices there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he really likes you. Come on, just go talk to him. Say hello to him. See if he wants to do something. Might actually have a good outcome. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Alright then. Now we gotta go back to talk to Yefim and let him know what happened. Before we do that, let's go over to Cook. And see if we can uh, convince him not to meddle with the guy's wife. Even though, like, here's the thing. I personally don't care. You know, do whatever you want. Uh, if you want to float it up with a woman and while she's drinking there, go for it. You know, your bar, your rules, do whatever the hell you want to do. And it's not like she can just, you know, it's, she can do whatever she wants to do. If she wants to just sit there, drink and talk to the bartender, she can do that. Because no funny it's... It's it's a giant it's a giant world full of death and despair. So I think at that point, if somebody wants to have alcohol and float up with a bartender, they can if they want to. The same time she is married, so I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. Whatever. We're gonna try to yeah yeah. I'll talk to Cook there. here. I just have to close up. No, oh, he is closing up. I guess we good thing we caught him at the right time. Hey, uh, Henry Cook, right? That's right. This is my place. Why? Is there some kind of problem? Uh, Jesus, uh... I got a 
I'm just gonna go ahead and ask. Are you, are you sleeping with Paul Pembroke's wife, by any chance? It's I really don't see anything. what business it is of yours who I'm sleeping with. Huh. Alright, so he does. That's clearly an <laughs> that's clearly an answer uh, from somebody who does. Look, Paul asked me to talk to you, so here I am, just asking nicely. The guy's worried, right? And I'm asking you, nicely, to turn back around and go tell Paul to come talk to me himself, if he's man enough. Uh, let's see, last chance you're gonna see if you're not, uh... Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna try this. This may not work, but we're gonna try to play the. We're gonna we're gonna try to go for the B option. <sighs> okay, I'm counting to three, one. Hold two. up. Two. Don't get crazy on me. We can talk this out. This whole thing with Darcy and me, bad idea. I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look, tell Paul it's over. I swear. I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? Hmm. A promise just as a promise itself is where well, then, it's not gonna be enough. What do you want me? I have an idea. Something I've been thinking about for a while already. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? Well, let, let's hear it, I guess. Here's the deal. I have some other, um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. I like the part about the money, so go on. <laughs> Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. Hmm. I'm in. <laughs> I guess we could probably do it for money. Now you're talking. I promise you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. Every single time we try to do something for a way for us to just get out of the city, it always pulls us back in. This is all about the Diamond City. This is literally what Diamond City is about. <laughs> trying to get you in, to try to, you know, settle in for a little bit, feel comfortable around the place. And now the door's locked. We are locked in here forever. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Doors don't want to open for us. <laughs> Doors are being very racist against Synth. Your Synth? No, I will never open for you. Let's go ahead and see if we can follow him, and I guess try to How do the here? little business around here. Hopefully it's get us outside the city, that'd be nice. If we can do this real quick with him, we can get a lot more money. You know, kind of, like I said, play both fields. That's pretty much what we're doing here. We're helping out the guy with the wife, and at the same time we're gonna help him out, and uh, make Just some of the stick money. With me. Hopefully. Well, I can't really stick with you because you disappeared, sir. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna just... See what we can, you know, what kind of best we can do here. Uh, get this job done as soon as possible and try to hightail out of the Diamond City as soon as possible because hanging around here is not going to be in our best interest. We want to kind of move away from this area if possible, you know? It might be for the best for us in general anyway. Just to try to find and figure out what's going on with our memories, try to kind of figure out why we have having visions every single time we go to bed and everything just to kind of help us a little bit we have some fragments of memories still left around still kind of lurking around and we want to try to resolve them as best as possible that's the idea here i kind of like this i can finally <laughs> play a brand new character in the world of fallout and just kind of do my thing i'm liking this a lot actually <laughs> Is it snowing? I guess it might be snowing a little bit. Maybe like a light rain. No, it's just foggy. Just really little fog in here. Alright, let me know where we can go then. Following you, Henry. I'll try to stay behind you as much as possible. Don't know if I can really offer you a lot of protection. Come on, let's go. What, what, is, what is he doing? 
Nelson's what starting is Sword to Rain think here? he doesn't need me. Is he gonna move? Okay, now he's moving. Alright, cool. Now he's finally moving. I can actually follow him around. See what this will take me to. The place to live, I tell you. you made the right the place to live, that's for sure. Alright. Well, this looks kind of nice, you know, with some snow and some very cold rain. Lovely. <laughs> the nuclear fallout just messed up the weather completely here. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Riel. Welcome to Lev Lev Lev. Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts as a treasure thing yet. <laughs> I kind of want to say you could dress better. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 